Always what I come back to is the heart of everything and everything is connected. And when we started our farm six years ago, we honestly didn't know we were growing hemp. It wasn't even on the radar, but everything we do that starts in the heart and soul on our farm goes all the way through our products um, at Franny's Pharmacy. And those are reaching people all over the United States. The stories we hear, the impact that one little bitty sustainable farm in Western North Carolina, in the mountains, the love that it starts with in that plant and in that seed and in that holler, gets to make such an impact on people's lives and our communities. I honestly feel like we are doing something larger than life. So, um, so what we determine at the end of this entire research experiment with soil balance is we're definitely using that again. We are, will absolutely use that and not only that, I'm recommending and requiring that for any farmers that are growing for our Franny's brand. Our Franny's brand is the highest standards that we can to produce hemp that goes through processing and into our products. Soil balance is one of the required standard operating procedures that they have to use when they're growing. That's how I'm convinced I am from the research I took and then experimented using on my own farm. So on Franny's farm, we have two different varieties of hemp that we planted, both for CBD production. They were both quarter acre plots. We had these plots divided into sections that we were gonna do our trials on. So with soil balance, we have our, our baseline. We're not putting any soil balance in this section. The next section was the one that was recommended as per their directions. When you transplant, you use the soil balance, and then three weeks later, another three weeks. Well, this is what was a miracle. So we transplanted our plants. We use our soil balance according to the directions. We mix it in five gallon buckets using biodynamic principles with a blessing, 50 turns one way, 50 turns the other way, music, intentions, everybody that touches our plants does this. So after three weeks, we, are, we assess what our baseline looks like in comparison to the one that we had only used one application and the one we had used seven applications. That baseline was so, the root development was not near as, I mean, in, in the comparison, it was not even near in comparison for the root development as the other two test trials. So in the one that was we saw the most success with was the one that we used every day for seven days and then we waited those two weeks and looked at it. This intense white root hair and growth as in a ball. Uh, our trichome production has been absolutely amazing. We have beautiful frosty resinous trichomes sprouting out all over the plants. That baseline, after three weeks, we started using soil balance. There's no way that we could not have done that. And this is at a time in North Carolina, when you're a dirt farmer, you have got all sorts of elements. You've got hurricanes, you've got droughts. We had torrential rains, we had flooding, we had washouts. And I am absolutely convinced that what we did establishing that good root growth made all the difference because in our original trial of the baseline, we, we had to replant. And it's very common that you might have up to 30% loss um, when you plant something, especially with the weather we had, but it was more prominent in the baseline. And we just said, this is, it's, it's an easy, it was the easiest decision. So we did not complete our original um, goal that we had set out to do, which was to leave a baseline. Uh, we ended up implementing soil balance and we were super impressed and pleased. We did that the week application every week to catch up. 
And all of it, though, ended up doing really well at the end. Part of what I love about Soil Balance, we grew in the soil. I am a dirt farmer. I love working with Mother Nature, all the inconsistencies. I like to be flexible and just dig in the dirt. I love, love my farm. Uh, but I have partners that are very skilled in greenhouse production and we did a whole demonstration garden where we were gardening individual plants in air pots and soil pots. And so a product like Soil Balance translates to all these different growing techniques, which that's not true for all products. And it's because it's... Humans are used to like probiotics and all the benefits. You can associate the same benefits for a plant. It's a living organism and giving it that food, which generates all this microbial root development. That is like for humans, you know, our gut, that is what determines the health of the plant. And it can be used across, and we did use it in all those trials too, in our indoor grows, in our plant and in the dirt. I think along with great nutrients, one of the more most important things is that there needs to be consciousness behind that and what is happening when you're growing hemp. There needs to be very positive intentions. Play music for your plants. Say a blessing every time you go and work with that beautiful plant.